If I'm doing very brief therapy, um, I will tend to focus on the questions of what do you want to stop doing that's not currently effective and what do you want to start doing more of uh, to make the relationship be able to progress. There's some component of worry or fear or um, dread, uh, anticipating yeah. something very mm -hmm. much more insidious or something than, than has met the eye, is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you fear is um, going to happen? What are symptoms? It's when we've isolated a part of our psyche that's problematic and all the rest of our resources do not know how to access it. When you take these perspectives, they're not just simply, uh, you know, cognitive, you know, that kind of disassociated cognitive constructs. What you really want to do, I mean, the, 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 the greatest insights come from truly committing to that perceptual position. Well, it has to do with a little study that I'm interested in on empathy. And how can you empathize? Well, I started off as a Rogerian therapist, and then when I was a Rogerian therapist, I was doing empathy by doing reflective listening. Well, it seems like you're excited, and it seems like you're really enthusiastic, and it was a verbal reflective empathy. But why should we limit ourselves to a verbal reflective empathy? Why not develop the empathy in an experiential, dramatic way? At each point, we're making choices, and those choices are fueled by what we know about <clears throat> problems by cognitive theory, by cognitive protocol, but also the levels interact with each other. So what was going on and the, the pacing and level at what we were able to do in the session influenced the choices I was making about options at different point in time. So when you're listening here, if you want to listen for a ki two kinds of permission, one is permission to and permission not to. No matter what form of therapy you choose to practice, Every model of treatment amplifies some element of experience. There is an attention we have that goes on irrespective of anything that goes on in our lives. The only thing is we can't get to it because of how important the content of our lives is. One of the main, I think, beauties of Erickson's work was to emphasize that these symptoms and these problems really can be regarded as potential resources. That what makes it negative or positive is the human relationship with it. 